Based on your conversations with members of your committee, are Republican members of the House Foreign Affairs Committee similarly concerned? Well, I think everybody should be concerned. I mean, you know, for me, it's just mind-boggling. It reaches a, a new low, and then it gets even lower after that. Uh, for uh, President Trump to have uh, told uh, Putin and the Russians uh, classified secrets is just mind-boggling. Uh, when you have um, Washington abuzz for the past several months about possible connections between Trump's campaign and the Russians, the Russians should be the last people that an American president, or that Trump, that Donald Trump, should tell anything to. And now, apparently, it jeopardizes our relationship with the Israelis, who apparently uh, were the ones, the sources of the, of the information. It's just one blunder after another after another. And I, I call it fly by the seat of your pants uh, diplomacy, and it doesn't work. Congressman, tell us a little bit about what specifically kind of action will you be urging the committee to take to address this latest disclosure? Well, first of all, I, I think that what we need uh, in the Congress is a special uh, prosecutor so that we can have uh, take away the political taint of any of these investigations of, of, of Trump and his ties, his alleged ties to the Russians. And I think that has to happen. And I'm you know, disappointed that my Republican colleagues uh, still haven't uh, seen this and go along with it. Uh, but I'm hoping for the good of the republic that Democrats and Republicans get together much the way we have done on the Foreign Affairs Committee uh, throughout these many uh, years and, uh, and try to, uh, to do what's best for the country, not necessarily what's best for the president or best for one party or another. And that's what we really have to do. Um, it, it's just unbelievable that uh, every time you think you've sunk to a new low, there's, there's another low that's even below that. Um, the president cannot uh, do amateurish foreign policy. Um, uh, the, these are just not things that the United States can, as a major power in the world, can, uh, can, can sustain. Congressman, one of the points that the National Security Advisor made today was that this was a, a fundamental breach of security within the administration. Whoever passed these details of the meeting to the press what do you think is going on here? Do you believe someone could ultimately be trying to undermine Donald Trump and the administration? Well, I think that's a secondary question. The, the main question is, what is the president of the United States doing divulging classified information to Vladimir Putin, who's an adversary, and to, to Russia, who's decided that they're going to be adversaries of the United States, when our own allies don't have the information, and when one of our allies who gives us the information is then exposed and kind of let, let, let out there uh, bare naked. I mean, it just is ridiculous. It's, it's not something that you would think would even be good for a comic book. And yet this is dangerous stuff that, that's happening. So I don't think it's a matter of trying to do the president in. I think he's doing himself in. And my worry is that he's doing the country in. So I guess we also have to make the point here that, that we don't know exactly what information was shared with the Russians here or what intel Donald Trump received back. You're obviously going to be um, speaking to the National Security uh, Advisory as well later on this week. What questions are you going to be asking? Well, uh, the same basic questions that I've mentioned today. Why are we uh, talking to the Russians about classified information? Why is the President of the United States uh, not feel that he needs to keep his mouth quiet when he's talking to our adversaries? I mean, these are um, uh, secrets, I important things that could jeopardize uh, things that we're doing in the fight against ISIS. And the President of the United States, uh, apparently because he wants to establish some kind of rapport with Putin, thinks it's okay to, uh, to declassify it. Um, I, will, I will be asking what really happened and uh, want to make sure that uh, there will be steps taken so that it will never happen again. This is a, a very dangerous thing. And I would be saying this about any president who did it. It's not a political thing with me. I just think that anybody uh, who looks at the situation knows that what happened is a dangerous thing. Now, the president right. is leaving and he's going to different countries. I hope we don't have more damage that we have to clean up after that trip. Very quickly, Congressman, what should the president aim to achieve when he visits Saudi Arabia, Israel, Italy, and Belgium? 
Well, obviously, we, we, a lot of these countries are our allies. Uh, um, certainly Saudi Arabia is, certainly Israel is, certainly Belgium is. I mean, all the countries is going to. Uh, we want to have uh, good relations with them, and we want them to be part of the, the, the global, global struggle against terrorism. We want them to be part of, of, of things that we're doing. Um, and, and so the, the personal, the president's trip in itself is a good idea because we want the president to, to meet world leaders. But given the uh, propensity he has to put his foot in his mouth, uh, it makes me very, very, very nervous. But I think him going is a good idea because I think that we are the leaders of the free world and we have to act like them. But we have to also know who our, our friends are and who our enemies are. And believe me, Russia and Mr. Putin is not our friend.